We are back, baby. Proper Talk connection. To no Talk bad to me, reception. Big fella. I'm here. Talk to I'm me. Here. I'm here. I've got you straight up this time. Can you believe last week? What a f- bloody shit fight trying to get reception out for Bush. Uh, they still managed to tip some winners. Also managed to tip some absolute stinkers. Socks are gone. Bard. Cut. Cut yeah. that horse. That's a crappy horse. Mate, I am over that horse. And you know what? It is never to be backed again. I know we haven't, we haven't barred anything for a while, but I've got, I've got one for you as well. Give the it. Canterbury Bulldogs. B-A-R-D, Bard. They no can way. never be bet on again. I I'm betting two, on them this weekend. No way in the world. Mate, Remember, it's, the, it's the coach bounce back this weekend. Obviously, we've lost Dean Pay. Well, Dean Pay quit the Bulldogs during the week. Mate, Mate, Steve Steve George Arliss has taken over the reins. He looks a thousand. He is. If mate, you reckon, he has the trust of the players. It doesn't matter if you reckon Dean Pay looked unhealthy as coach. Can you imagine this bloke standing in front of you? Put a photo. Do you know what? Google a photo of Steve George Arliss and do yourself a favour. And right, Steve, you now just spell his last name. G E O. G O. Every other letter in the G O. Letter in the alphabet. All right, mate. I um. Bulldogs win this weekend at three dollars fifty. There's a three in his last name. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, Bulldogs win this weekend at three dollars fifty. I'm putting it out there. If they lose, I'll 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 scull a beer on the show. I can't go near it, mate. They're barred. What about that multi that I had going? Yeah, you had. Tell, remind me. (laughs) Yeah, what about that multi? Just remind me. I had Saints. I had Titans. Both. Oh, you did. Two outsiders in two outsiders, South, and then uh, Bulldogs with seven and a half start. And they did me. Can you believe it? How good. How good. You took uh my own yeah. team. I know. They, they hung me out to dry. I forgot about that. It was a funny old weekend. And you know what? Fuck betting on the AFL. Anyone that tell you tells you this year that they're oh yeah, betting on the AFL's gone really, really well for me. That person is a liar. What did we talk about? The Bulldogs double? Both Bulldogs let us down. Both Bulldogs, Both bulldogs need to go straight and be put down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that just came out. It came straight out. But it came out so easily. I was so frustrated at both teams over the weekend. Yeah, you got it. There's, some, there's obviously something very good where the coach just goes. Nah. I know we've got St. George this weekend, but nah. That's it for me. Who, Dean Pay, Mate, yeah. poor Dean. Every year, every week was ageing him a year. Yeah, he looks... <laughs> if he went right through to the end, he would have been 100. When we did the post on um, him, like, quitting the club, I Google imaged pictures of Dean Pay, and it just looked like a, like a Monet painting, like just a sad... Mate, he looked like a frigging booper ad. Yeah, he was not happy. He was definitely not the healthy version of himself. Yeah, he was a better version of himself before he started coaching there. That's why he was quite happy to get out. And what about that? Mm. The good old-fashioned family club. Really back to the roots of being a family club now, aren't they? Everyone's saying that they're not a family club anymore because they got rid of Dean. This is what families do. Mate, you, you get rid of Dean and you forgive and forget your children or players that went and had sex with school children. You forgive oh, and you bring no, it back I into the family. That. You bring it. No, but I'm just saying it's a family club. <laughs> those kids, those two players love family so much. Those kids were of age. Doesn't matter. I know. It doesn't, but. Oh, no, we're not, so, we're not. We're not. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Obviously, we're not. We're not calling yet. them pedophiles. Yeah. We're not saying that what they did was have sex with underage. But they, they, Breach a huge trust point in the NRL where we spoke about this. Go back to like one of our first episodes that you and I did together about how important school visits are to football teams yeah. and Maybe the we fact get, that let, a player. Let's not go. Let's not go. We can't hang them twice. Yep. I can. Bulldogs are absolute idiots. I may bet on them this weekend, but they are idiots if they let them play in the coming round. They they should have. They should just sack them just I'll, on merits. I'll draw a line there and say. The Bulldogs shouldn't take him back as long as every other club jumps on board and won't take him. There's got to be some line drawn. Mate, they, I Mate, think that'll not, happen. That, how do you... How do you... That, they, they, they do their suspension. They pay their shitty little fine. 
and they're right to play. And that's what the Bulldogs, with the way they're going, can't afford to let these two blokes go. Those, those two blokes that they lost were going to underpin their whole attack this year. According to Dean Pay, but he's gone. Is he dead? Rest in peace, Dean Pay. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you know I'm coming from the I'm coming from the Sunshine State, drinking four X Golds. I got the short sleeves back on, or as I like to say, Queensland, the home of AFL. Oh, mate, do you know what? You're the only bloke I know that goes on holidays and can't wait to get home. God, it's I can't wait to get home and bloody just. As soon as I got home, I cleaned my pool. Oh, I can't wait to swim on this in two months' time. <laughs> <laughs> mate, the AFL teams have. Victoria have officially shit the bed in regard to the coronavirus. They've had nearly 300 cases every night, and the Victorian teams have just said they're sending six up here. There's two over in WA. Now it's like, okay, no one come back. You're all heading to Queensland, and I'm telling you now, mark my words, in the next fortnight, we're, maybe even the next 10 days, we'll have a very similar decision made by the NRL. Oh, you reckon the AFL has sort of come around the side of the peloton and now gone <laughs> gone out on the breakaway and the NRL are, are now falling behind? Well, I reckon, like, think, think about this. They've also got, see, at least the AFL could move to Western Australia or uh, South Australia because there's already two teams in each state. Excuse me. But they've gone to Queensland. I was reading about this WAG hub. I don't know how I get into it. But they're moving all the wives and girlfriends um, up to this hub, all the families. Um, they're here for the long haul, mate. We're going <laughs> to – I was saying to my old man today, we might see some pretty good footy up here. <laughs> and, mate, how good is it for the families getting out of Melbourne? They'd be mate, stoked. That's what they're doing. The clubs are actually really – and that's what the AFL always does. And, and a lot of clubs are like this, not just the Boring, AFL. depressing Melbourne. <laughs> yeah. up Imagine the being coast. in the middle of Melbourne um, winter where it's wet freezing and you're dodging the coronavirus as each suburb goes into lockdown but having mate, a pastor every night oh, mate it's gonna be what if, it's it's gonna be big it's gonna be big um i think within by the end of this month i reckon we're gonna have all uh, i think we'll have all afl teams up there AFL and i reckon hub? we'll have and we'll have an nrl decision NRL to come hub? up here well, maybe yeah. they're all going up. Rugby Union will go up. Rugby Union Hub. Porn Hub. <laughs> Wag Hub. Oh, the Porn Hub. Biggest accounts are in Queensland. If you know what I mean. Oh, uh, yeah. No, it's, um, it's very uh, very exciting for a Queenslander. No, but, but football will go on. Um, Peter Volandis has reached out to Anastasia Palaget, the, uh, the Queensland Premier, and said, what are your thoughts on moving all the Queensland team, all the all the rugby league teams to a hub in Queensland? She said, we would be absolutely ecstatic to have you guys up here. But please know, if you are to bring your teams to Queensland, we will have the grand final here at Suncorp as our one little caveat in this contract. So we might even see a grand final up here. Wow. That, but that that's pretty unbelievable. I know. I, it could be not true. Was there, <laughs> it could actually be unbelievable. Was there a rumour that it was going to go up there when they knocked down, if they knocked down the main stadium here? Remember when they were going for two stadiums? Yeah. And then it was just going to go to Suncorp, but they gave them one. They knocked down the uh, the, the football stadium. So they, they left the SFS. one at Hambush yeah. to have the final. So they didn't have to go through that. But, mate, do you know what? I'm all for it. Why not? Why not have the grand final somewhere else? Look, Queensland needs a huge injection of tourist, tourism money because it's – on the overall Australia tourism map, Queensland brings in such a huge chunk of it. I know coming back up from country New South Wales to get across the border, we went to a town I can't even pronounce just to avoid the border crossing here at um, Coolangatta because they reckon they were having 20,000 cars in the first half of Saturday morning. It's, why'd you why'd you send me a photo a uh, video of you doing push ups as soon as you cross the borderline? Boy, just I was trying to get that. Just happy to be back. Mate, I was trying to sweat out what I'd smuggled over in my buttocks. What was it? <laughs> Polish <Any>? Raz. Oh. <laughs> 
But no, it was a good holiday. Thank you once again. We wrote it in the show notes last week, but thank you everybody who kept us accountable, chased us up for the podcast last week uh, when we had a few technical difficulties and, um, you know, I was drunk for a lot of the week. Uh, when that was kind of happening, we kind of thought, you know, what, what, what do we do? Do we he was. push back the podcast? <laughs> well, we did record the podcast on Friday morning at 10 a.m. and I was having a delicious scotch. Shout out to the Whiskey Club. Oh, we later found out he wasn't, month. it wasn't the reception. It was just his voice was crackly from yeah. <laughs> drinking. <laughs> yeah, so. Is that the reception cutting out? No, no. Sure it's is. My, it's my voice. Sure is. So, um. Mate, we'll... Uh, so that's the news in the AFL. So it's it's a thousand percent staying on, going ahead. Because we were worried last week that it was going to be all over Red Rover. Yeah, two weeks ago, I kind of... Oh, we were, we were putting on our final bets. Lucky none of them won, so we can keep chasing. <laughs> that's why. They go, one more round. One yeah. more round. I really got to go all out this round. Um, but no, it was. Uh, we are going to see football continue. And I think we're going to see football continue. And this is a massive backflip compared to what I said last week. But we're going to see one more round of football. We're going to see the football continue in both codes. And we're going to see them in Queensland. And I was just thinking. I was just having a look at nrlshop.com at my uh, Queensland Hawaiian shirt that I'm going to order. Um how good is it going to be watching finals footy? I have a huge TV at the back that you can what you can actually watch it from the pool. I know. Oh well, you've bloody done. All oh, right. I've done all right. You've yeah, done all right. Yeah. How many TVs uh, you got? I've got a ton of TVs. I don't know why. There's only three of us in the house. Um, but yeah, it's. I'm so looking forward to be out there in my boardies having a swim, watching. Oi, babe. Oi, babe. Put the TV around. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can see it now. Yeah. Oh, I got a TV out the back. Uh, oh, tell, me when, tell me when the second half's on. I'm going to have a quick dive from the top of the roof. You watching? Bomb. <laughs> All right, let's start betting. Wait, wait, mate, one more thing. What about Billy Egan taking the ride on Mystic Journey? A favourite horse of yours, the number 13 in the, uh, the All-Star Mile. Oh, no, not the All-Star Mile. What was the one, the race of one? Yeah, that one. Um, was it? The big Tasmanian horse. Yeah, the thriller um, from Tasmania. Yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> we, the, the news came out quite late last night. I'm not sure if it was late or not. I've been going to bed early, but... Um, I feel a bit sorry for Darmini and um, missing out on that ride, but great... I don't, mate. We great love... Thing. We love Billy Egan. Oh, and he'd be listening to... He bloody loves it. Billy, son, it's your two dads, Sam and Pat. Good on you, son. Shout out to uh, to Billy Egan. <laughs> yeah, he was. Uh, I'm I'm very very happy that he got that ride, and it makes a few races coming up a lot more interesting because you do you get we as a page, the leg up followers, podcast listeners, everyone out there loves Billy Egan, but our followers love Billy even more because guess what? He talked to us about Cherry Tortoni. He had a good laugh. He came on the show and he um, he was an absolute bloody legend. So, Mate, speaking well of done, coming Billy. upwards, um, okay. <laughs> can we get straight into the racing here? Yeah, go for it. I got a tip in Ipswich race one, number one. <laughs> That's my tip. <laughs> Is it? I knew you'd find it as well. Bangers and mash. You're an idiot. It's called bangers and mayo. Is it? <laughs> Are you allowed to call a horse that? Mate, I listeners, please. I we were having a chat about the races. We're having a bet at Ipswich. We're gonna we're gonna tip the card, full card of winners at Ipswich. So hit us up in the tips and slips group. Um I said to Pat, you've got to have a look at this horse. Race one, number one, bangers and mayo. Then what'd you call it? I'm not gonna say what I call it. I said it may as well be called Dixon's, but I said other words. It was. It wasn't somewhere in there. No, no, mate. No, it's. Uh, it's actually some pretty decent racing on this weekend at Ipswich. There's some decent races in Sydney, but if you have a look at what you're actually looking at, I think the ice is a benchmark. What is well, it? mate, there's there's not a lot around, and I'll I'll just run. I'll go straight into my hundred dollar bet because yeah, while we're on bangers and mayo, 
Dad, you're not betting on bangers and mayo. I'm betting on bangers and mayo. It's right. well sore. Seven stars, two wins, apprentice on board, three kilos off. It's a pretty low field. Six horses to beat. It's uh, I'm gonna Up take their bangers and mayo. I'm gonna take uh, fifty dollars on it into race two, number one, Milkman. Oh, Milkman has let the punters down before. Just remember that. Made a couple of good seconds up there. Broke through for a win last start. And made it's that good a seconds win. when it's gone into the race paying a dollar eighty to win. But it could really go on with it now. It might have just needed that win to break through. So you're going mayo into milk. Gang is a mayo into milk man. Oh, uh, uh, wowzers. Yeah, only 50 on that. Oh, mate, I'll take you straight to Sydney if you want. I'll, I'll rip right through my bets. Go for it, babe. Where you go? I'm going to have another $50 multi. I just loved the story. Race two, number one, Leo. The trainer. Okay, the, so I haven't posted this on the page yet, but you brought it to my attention. Give me the whole story because I love it. Well, look, mate. I, I this is what you, dreams are made of. I can't give you the trainer's name off the top of my head. Hold on. He ha- I'll be able to give it to you. So just keep, keep talking. Talk, well, tell us about a, it. It was a couple of weeks back. He has a major owner that he went to and asked. He said, can I buy one? I want to buy a good one. Obviously, all the trainers want to buy a good one, but he wanted some money to put into a good one. So he bought Leo. They, they sponsored him with it. They bought it, obviously. Own it outright. Mark Schmetzer. Schmetty. Mark Schmetzer. He, um, so he gave it a few runs, tipped it out, and said, we're going to bring it back for a race and uh, we'll back it first up. And uh, first up, he took it to a it – was, was it a highway? Was it the highway uh, last I don't have two weeks ago? In front of yeah, it was. Yeah, and uh, they unleashed on it at 50 to 1, and it saluted. And from all reports, they the boys good... absolutely unloaded on it. Yeah, he thanked everyone on his face. It was <laughs> like he was doing a bloody a speech winning so the Oscars. I just, I'll do a quick – I'll just really, really quickly read it out. You know. um, he wants to thank Brett Gore. Brett brought Leo for me because I needed a stable star if I moved to Scone. It was a plan to have three runs to be eligible for a highway, then geld him and put him out to come back first up for a plunge. Well, it all went to plan today. And well, how goes, good is that? Then he goes on to thank everyone, including the feed guy, the farrier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what, mate, <laughs> he's probably just put 30000 in his pocket, if not more, and, and trained it. And at, at 50 to 1, you're looking at 10000 every 200. So fly... Ying. Yeah, that was very But, yeah, love the story, mate. Love it. Love the small-time trainer getting the chocolates. I'm going to go him again into... So what race was that, sorry? just Race race two, number one, Leo. Sydney, race two, number one, Leo at $10. Yep. I've actually got a... uh, Is it a nephew? You do have a nephew, yep. Is that what you you call it when you're an uncle? I'm the uncle of uh, Leo, godfather of a Leo, which probably influences me tipping that. A little bit and, more, and I would hate to bring up how his dad didn't back it. But anyway, oh, he must have backed it. He yeah. must. He, he must just be not Egg. telling us. Yeah, I look all the time. Tab search runners. Max, he goes. I didn't back it, and then he smiled, and all his teeth are gold. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> with nice grill. Did you have a diamond in your tooth, and you didn't back it? Ah. Oh well. All right, Leo in another highway into what? Race seven, number eleven. Mm-hmm. Rosina Conjun up. Okay. It's had three nice trials going into this race. Hasn't a raced for Bjorn Baker trained horse. Da, da, da. I never ever thought I'd see the day that you tip a Bjorn Baker trained horse. Mate, that's just me changing it up. I'm just changing it up. Turning I'm giving, over the, big, a new I'm giving the big fella a go. Hey, don't have to talk me into it. Bjorn is an absolute legend, great friend of the Lega. We played uh, basketball against him at the Magic Millions. Go back two years and you'll find that video, but he's a good dude. And he's, um, stable's going good at the moment. What price are you seeing about Regina, Rosina Condonat? Six bucks. Six bucks. Oh, oh, you're just going to tip a $60 multi, are you? 60 to one. We've got one 60 to one multi. And the first one is a $15 multi. Pussy. 15. What's my multi? It's less than those. What are you taking? 
Uh, mate, I'm staying at Ipswich. I'm going race seven, number nine, Mr. Bellagio. Uh, I think I went three on the trot before I'm, I'm just bringing up the um, the form in front of me. I think I went three on the trot before having a short little let up. Does it what go for looking at? Does it go for big spells? This thing, uh, four dollars eighty currently. Um, <clears throat> eight weeks off, came back, had a nice trial here on the Gold Coast. Uh, prior to that, it. One on the Gold Coast over Bold Warrior. One over Canapes and Solar Star. Bloody very good horse um, at Doombin. And prior to that, beat Red Steena over 1,400 metres. So very good on soft tracks. I think we're probably going to see a little bit of cut in the ground. Um, in race seven, the Eyeliner Stakes, which is a group-listed race up here at Ipswich. So... I'm really liking Mr. Bellagio and uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to bet. I I think I need to follow the money with Jamie Lady. She got us the cash over Jamaican rain last fortnight um, at $6.50. She's into $3.60. It's definitely, um, I mean, she's, she's beaten a lot of the horses. Yeah, no need to go off her, is there? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm definitely not going to go off her, but I'm just thinking I might go. Um, I might go forty bucks on each and twenty dollars on the all up. No, I'm going to go fifty on. Uh, no, nah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I just I need go whatever's going to pay more. Oh, well, the the multi of the two is going to pay more. What are we looking at, Jammy? Three sixty. Yeah. It's short. Mate, take the hundy on the multi. It's going to be that. That'll be a thousand dollar multi. I'm a hundred bucks. Num, race seven, number nine, Mr. Bellagio into race nine, number four, Jamie Lady. Uh, you Hundy should get or. about what is that? Three times four. I don't have giant calculator here. I got it here. This is how you know we're real punters. We are just looking straight at form and writing them down. So we're not even looking at the prices until after. That's seventeen dollars twenty eight. You know what? That is what a year too. Seventeen twenty eight. That was when the first fleet arrived in Australia. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> seventeen twenty. Just writing this that. down, punters, so you can just have a look at it. Check us out on Facebook. Um, thank you. Paddy's writing it down as well. Um, so yeah, that's going to be my multi. I'm, I'm putting it on my analog keyboard. Yeah, the, the old pen and pad. <laughs> just not, I'm just marvelling at how messy my writing is. Like a doctor. Okay, mate, a very uh, – this is a tough round of footy coming up. Round 10 in the NRL. Uh, ooh, some good games starting with Thursday night. Roosters Raiders. I've got to say, I put in a pretty decent effort last week and I, uh, I forgot to put my tips in. <laughs> Did you? That's a nudie yeah. run. <laughs> I wish. <Up. laughs> Send Mate, could, video. Could you ever believe at the beginning of the season that Raiders would be paying $4.20 against the Roosters in the grand final replay? Oh, mate, this is a this is a very unfortunate time for the, um, for the Raiders to draw the Roosters. And yep. this is why I reckon it would be great if the season opener was the year before's grand final. Uh, so many people say that, and I like it. Yeah, well, mate, why not? What a great build-up, and what a great way to see uh, the new additions to teams and how they've handled the off-season. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's almost... I'm not a huge fan of it, but it allows teams to basically reap redemption immediately. But I, always, I also do believe those first three rounds should be your biggest three rounds of footy. Yeah, well, no. mate, I've got to say, this is pretty unfair that at this point of the season where the Raiders have drawn the Roosters, they're on a five-day turnaround, Roosters on a seven-day turnaround. With, yeah. with all the Raiders' injuries, it's just easier to read out who can play. Because the line is 11 and a half. Mate, they, one massive one is they lost Hodgson. Mm. Like, For the season. Yeah. Is it full season? Yeah. Oh, Shivers. Come on, rip through. What do you like? Mate, it's just roosters here. I don't have to I don't have to beat around the bush here. And you know what? Do you I like that line? No. 
no, eleven and a half, no, 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 no. Because do you know what? I like the total. So it wouldn't surprise me if Robinson um, half rested some players. Well, I heard a little whisper this afternoon that um, friend and one of the and the other Morris may not play. Yeah. The groin Morris, Brett. No, the other Morris, I think. Josh. Groin Morris is still out, isn't why, he? Why can't Josh play? They didn't even pass it to his side of the... Of oh, the can you believe once. that? <laughs> didn't pass it to his side once last week. Can you freaking believe that? Come Give on. Ryan all a game. Get him a try, please. Oh, yeah, God. I felt sorry for him. He'll, he'll get a try this week. Yeah. Well, mate, Rooster's there. Easy, but not a great game to bet on. Obviously, I'll be taking Roosters in the multi. Um, Storm, <laughs> Storm will beat Titans. Don't even have to talk about this game. Friday, the second game, 7.55. You've got West Tigers, $1.52 over Broncos, $2.50 at Leichhardt Oval. The line is five and a half. Five and a half. Take it. I reckon take it for West Tigers. The Broncos did get their uh, – they did get it off the mark, but were less than convincing against a Bulldogs team that lacks – everything that probably would have known deep down that their coach was about to leave. Yeah. Mate, turmoil clubs don't, they don't operate well with backroom turmoil and also their team is pass. Like it's, uh, that well, mate, also... it, it brings us on to the next point. So George Illawarra taking on Canterbury Bulldogs, dragons paying dollar 30 doggies are $3 50. The line is nine and a half. Uh, I've yeah. already told you I'm betting on, on this game. Mate, last week was the win the Dragons needed to create some momentum. I think they're you going have to been go. talking about the Dragons for that long. I'm hoping they get a win for you, but not. Mate, really. they won. They pumped Manly last week. It was a, wasn't that a big, big win? Finally, they put their players into positions to get their all their best players on the field big, in potentially big, their big, best big positions. They beat them by 28. Oh, 30 points in the end. But Manly, if they, if they got points for trying to score, if they could kick behinds, they would have they would have made the game very close. <laughs> they, they've just got no closers in their team at the moment. Yeah, and they're missing. Um, was it Fanua Blake? Yeah, because he called someone a effing artard. But you can't say those words. You definitely can't say those words. Um. So what? Just dragons at a dollar thirty? Are you taking any exotics here, or giving no us exotics, anything? No exotics, mate. I reckon take. You exotics. don't like this round of footy, eh? Oh, it's a tough one. It's a tough one in the fact that if you start putting in eleven and a half and seven and a half and all of that sort of garbage, it just, it, they're just not they're just not entertaining games to do it. I I just think take it straight out. This could be a one where you tip the round. Just go straight out roosters into No, you won't you won't tip the round because Storm. then you've got Rabbitohs Knights. And I reckon this is a toss of a coin game. No, mate, I do you know what? As as far as the Rabbitohs go, I've tipped them the last two weeks and they've been in the multi the last two weeks and they've got the chocolates. But I think the Knights will come back. I think the the Knights will hit back. <laughs> You took us one way with that one and then straight back the other. That's it, mate. I think the Knights are going to hit back this week and um, give it a, a bit of travel will do them good down to Bank West. I, I, I think Souths have been anything but convincing and they've had a bit of a reshuffle. If you just bear with me a second. They've got a few guys moving around this week. Latrell's out, obviously, for... Um, oh, what do you think of Latrell... Um, Sort of striking Josh uh, Reynolds. So because I was, as as I've mentioned two and a half thousand times, I was struggling with reception. Um, I When I did get reception, you know, your notice has come up on Fox Sports or whatever it is that comes up. And straight away it was Luttrell going to miss weeks for dog act. I'm thinking, what's Luttrell done now? Got a little bit of Wi-Fi, had a flick on. No one mentions... Reynolds has, has flown a boot and kicked old mate in the face. I, I have absolutely no problems with what Latrell did. Me either. Can I get on my soapbox here? Go for it. That's what this is. We have a platform just so we can talk shit. Go for it. Mate, I nearly rang the radio through the week. But then oh, I thought, gosh. I don't thought, you dare. I, yeah, I thought, why am I, gonna, why am I going to argue with Craig, no last name? He <laughs> rang up and goes, I can't believe Latrell. He king hit him. 
and there's no other word for it. He king hit him. But let, riddle me this. You kick someone in the head and there's other people around. If you're not expecting someone to punch you in the head, then you are an idiot. You've just kicked someone. I mean, that, that is an argument. That is an argument that you've brought up. But yeah, I just, and you've kicked someone in the head. There is, even though it's an accident, I don't care. You have got to expect there's retaliation coming from somewhere. If you're not ready, you're an idiot. I'm a fan of both players, uh, Josh Reynolds and Latrell Mitchell. And I love the way they go about it. But the first thing Josh Reynolds should have done is gone straight to that player. He was going to the player. And oh, so he didn't get a chance. Gave, Latrell, Latrell came, came in and gave him a hand. <laughs> yeah, well, well, well that's, you know just, that's the game you play. It's too late to apologize. Um, I loved it, mate. I love the passion shown by Latrell. I reckon his team will love the passion shown by him. I reckon his coach will I, love the passion shown by him. He loves his, his teammates down there and he will give anything for him because he knows that what he's given up to be there is, is a lot. And I would hate to see... I'm going to go for the Knights in this one because I would hate to see Alex Johnson absolutely tear it up at fullback and then we start hearing the media, um, which creates this circuit for all the pundits to come out and go, oh, Latrell shouldn't play fullback there. And by the way, just on the media, like I said, I had three notices, one from foxsports.com, one from Fox League, obviously the same company, and I don't quite remember the third app, but all three of them said about Latrell's dog shot will cost him weeks. No headline of Josh Reynolds kicked a bloke in the face. And I don't know whether the media is holding back on Josh because he bit back a buzz, which I also love, but it should have been reported very differently. Latrell definitely should get a week or two for it, but no way. And would he do it again? Of course. I I think who wouldn't, Who, who, who actually wouldn't. Well, that's what I think. It's more about being Johnny on the spot. As yeah, opposed to being, it being a flog, he was I, the 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 riders would have just been rubbing their hands when they realised that Latrell was the closest person in that incident yeah. because they just love heaping shit on him. Um, and Josh Reynolds is, and unfortunately, it was against Josh Reynolds because Josh Reynolds is someone that they also love to, you know. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Josh. Reynolds. I like how he plays, and you know what? Same. Kick someone in the big head, fan. but don't whinge when you get king hit. He rolled around right. on the ground like a bit of a fairy. Like, you know, stand up for yourself. <laughs> Mate, I thought he was, yeah. I, I kind of like it that he was <laughs> he called Latrell as well. You're acting like an f wit. Yeah, I love it. The voice. Ten um, at 10 paces. Manly, Parramatta, Saturday night. This could be a good game. Out at Lotto Land. Um, I mean, how, Mate, how good s- are Para looking? Where, 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 what's the team that's going to stop him? I'm still worried about Manly. How do they score? They just, mate, they can't score. And you know what? Daly Cherry Evans had his worst game of the season last week. He dropped multiple, I reckon about five balls in just general play, mm, normal mm. catches. I think he dropped them just out of sheer frustration. He just trying to do too much to try to make them score. Is this season over for Manly? Mate, without Tommy T, it's just it's hard to see them coming. They, mate, I think they put Jake in as the link man last week. He just doesn't have the creativity. You want him busting through the line. You don't want him ball playing before the line. I well, think, so. you got give him one thing to concentrate on offense. Give him one thing to concentrate on defense because defensively he is phenomenal. Jake, put ball playing in there, yeah. Put Jake ball is, play in there. Jake it's, is good with the ball when they're rolling. But to make him a five eight, but yeah, but but not, yeah. I think, yeah, mate. They they they've got serious problems there, and uh, I think I, I, I'll go as far to say as they'll struggle to win a game. Do you uh, know what? Para, the line here is ten points. I reckon Para could pump them. Take that at a dollar ninety. Okay, very nice. I'm tipping the card this week. I hope you're writing all these down for the punters because this will be a separate video on the thing. Um, including your lines that you're taking the minus 10? I'm not going to take the minus 10, though. Like oh, I, said, I think Parra will pump them. I think them. Parra can pump them, but I'll just take them head-to-head at $1.28. Yeah, 
But it, it, have some truthfully, sh- have some balls. Have I some do. have some bangers of mayo about you, mate. I'm like bloody Mr. Bellagio on its short spell. That's why they only give me short spells as well. I'm a gelding. They love me running. <laughs> <laughs> bangers of mayo. Um, Warriors, um, Sharks, Sunday. Two games of Sunday. First one being Warriors, Sharks. Uh, Sharks, dollar forty three. Warriors, two eighty five. The line is six points. On Sunday, if you have stuff to do, don't be scared to miss the first game. I think it's going to be a snooze. I'd, I'd actually just say flick over to the AFL on Sunday. Yeah. But you know what? For the Sharks, for feeder drops out, I think with his form this season, I don't it's not think... not a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's a massive loss. Do you know what? For, um, for the Warriors which is a massive, massive in for them. They get Cody Nicarima back. Yeah. That is the reason I'll put them on top. You're going to take the Warriors here? Yes. $2.85. $2.85. I, Finally, you know, a little bit of sizzle. They, they have a uh, – I, I think I've only got so far two outsiders. I've got Knights and uh, Warriors. But mate, the oh, Warriors got, worry me. I have got no wraps on the Sharks. They uh, – I don't know I what's know. going on there. I don't know what's going on there. Something's going on. Aging roster, maybe. But young, young, um, yeah, young nothing. Go away. Panthers, <laughs> Cowboys, the four o'clock game Sunday. Uh, Panthers, a dollar fourteen against the five dollar seventy five North Queensland Cowboys. They were woeful last week. The Cowboys. The Cowboys, the Cowboys were back to their old form, weren't they? They had. I think they put together two wins on the trot and then um, yeah, then they fell, fell back into their old ways and I can't see it getting any easier for them. Playing away, Panthers home ground. Mate, Panthers will, they will rack up a number here. It's not will they win, it's how much. All right. You got a minute, give us your multi. The multi minute? Well, look, mate. In, <laughs> the multi minute. <laughs> the multi minute. In a round that doesn't have a lot of value, I'm happy to throw in the two outsiders I like this week. So we'll definitely have Warriors and yeah. Knights, Knights in there. I also think that even at a dollar twenty-three, the Roosters won't be getting beat. It's um, it's a case of there's too many, too many things going against Canberra going into this game. So even a dollar twenty-three is good odds about them. Warriors two eighty-five, Knights dollar ninety-five. And also, we'll get the we'll sneak the dragons in there against your bulldogs at a dollar thirty. I don't, mate. That's I don't dead money, mate. I don't know how it gets any easier for the bulldogs. So, especially with the shot with the dragons coming off a twenty to thirty point win, thirty point win. Yeah, it doesn't get any easier. Then. Happy to leave the Tigers Broncos game out. Bit of a danger game there, so. It's, uh, yeah, Roosters, Warriors, Knights, Dragons. Have you got Give some odds for there? All right. So, oh, fuck, Mate, my is... giant coat goes out. I'll, give you, I'll throw some odds out for you. $1.23, $2.85, $1.95, yeah. Yeah. $1.30. $8.88. It's the triple eight. You just yeah, won really? a jackpot. Lucky 88. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right, 100 bucks. Mate, that's eight eighty eight. That's a beauty. That's a beauty, son. All right, mate. Running into the AFL now. Round seven, Channel Seven, Ooh. July sixteenth. <laughs> not in, not in Queensland yet, but soon. But first game, mate. Geelong versus Collingwood. What do we got? We got the Stadium WA. We got the Pies. We got the Pies on a Thursday night, which. Um, very excited about this. is going to be a very tough game. It's a little bit of a toss of the coin. Um, yeah, you, can, you can knock all your nerves out on Thursday night. Yeah, I don't really like that. I like a Friday night game, if I'm honest, because I get to the end of the week and I really rip in. <laughs> um, like I said, a bit of a toss of the coin game. I was originally not going to have a bet on this game, and then I saw the over-unders, which is 102.5, which also a great radio station. But... Uh, <laughs> We, we don't think these teams are going to score 50-odd points each. I understand. I think what they're saying is, what the market or what the, the bookies are trying to say to us that is, is, if, is that Collingwood's going to win, and if they're going to win, they're going to constrict the ball like nothing else. Well, 
I don't think you can do that with Geelong, which are one of the highest scoring teams. So uh, at $1.90 for 102.5 points, I'm going to take the overs. Mate, is there, what, what do you got? If you're taking the overs, have you got a goal scorer for us to throw in there? Just go Jaden Stevenson, two plus goals. Um, maybe. Uh, what's the redhead? Rowan that came from Sydney. He's always a, a decent price for any time goal scorer. And um, let me just give one name? more for you. Uh, Gary Rowan was his uh, name. It's hard writing quickly. Gary Rowan. Uh, oh, I can't see this thing because it's too small. Yeah, that's two. Two's enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but also have agree. a bit of a have a bit of a play. Um, uh, have a bit of a play in the disposals market for uh, Adam Trelaw. He's back, baby. So 30-plus disposals. It's a nothing. There's your little same-game multi if you wanted to have a go. Adam Trelaw, how much disposals? 30-plus. 30 30-plus. 30 You're a bloody greedy guts. I have literally 15-leg multis in final <laughs> games. I know. It's like watching a teenager bet on tennis. I can't. Time yeah, in the multi. I can't. I get too, just get too excited. Oh, yeah. Federer, throw him in. Michael yeah. Chang, in. Yeah. All those blokes are in. They're all going to have a great game. Yeah. So Everyone will win round one. one. And then you call the boys. Can't believe Federer lost round one. I oh, know. Indian Wells. All right, mate. Friday, the 17th. <laughs> Essendon, Essendon versus the Bulldogs. Uh, the bloody Bulldogs. How can you... Oh, Exactly. How can you back a team that lost to Carlton? Um, Essendon win dollar ninety. Move on. Move on. Essendon at a buck ninety. Okay, get that in. That's pretty fat. That price. Saturday first up dollar uh, dollar forty five one forty five p.m. <laughs> Giants versus the Lions at Giant Stadium out west. Yeah, I, I, I'm very surprised. We're getting two dollars ten about. Brisbane, yes, they got touched up last week. They lose one game, 73-46. Geelong got over them. Um, but I, I think I need to see more from GWS. I, I really do. And I think that this is going to be a, a win by Brisbane. I was going to actually, when I looked at this and before I looked at the pricing, because with the footy, I never look at the prices. I was actually going to go a bit of a, a, a start in there, but we're getting two dollars ten for Brisbane. Brisbane win two dollars ten. Yeah, outsiders. Yeah, I know. I, mean, they're, they're, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Brisbane win the flag, and we're getting two dollars ten about them. They dropped out of premiership favourite when they lost that game. It's just the market's gone mad. Just watch this game and remember who Brisbane are. So Brizzy Lions there, Brizzy. Mm-hmm. Are you writing this down or am I writing this down? Don't worry about writing it down. I've got it all topped up. The, oh, you'll the Yeah, you'll put all this up on the page too. All right, mate. Saturday at the SCG, four thirty-five PM. Swans v Suns. Uh, I haven't got a lot written about this game. It's a bit funny. Originally, what I had is the Swans are pus because I, I, I'm. They're a bit of a shambles. The the Swans. Um, the Suns got beat last week. What's happened to our Swannies? Oh, mate, they would never mind. But I just. No, I know they're not yours. They're ours. The Sydney, the Sydney, <laughs> Sydney faithful team. Um, yeah, I, mate, I think there's a lot going on there, to be honest with you. Um, I think they thought a bigger year from Heaney, bigger year from Papley. These guys are going okay, but they need to be absolutely rocketing through the stratosphere without Buddy Franklin there, and they just haven't done yeah. that. I um, thought Heaney was going to become a superstar. He will. He will, definitely. But I, I, I like the Suns in this. Suns minus five and a half is paying $1.90, and I'm actually going to have a... First goal scorer bet in this one with Isaac Rankin at $13. This kid is fucking phenomenal. Um, have a look yeah. at his highlights last week. He's a freak. And, like, just just giving stick to, you know, 60, 80 gamer players, 100 game players, just in their face talking to them. This kid is – he was number three in the 2018 draft, which is a gun gr- draft that had Sam Walsh go one, um, Lacocious go two, Rankin go three. Uh, I think the Suns thought Lacocious was a better fit for them, so they took Lacocious over two. And then when they realised that Rankin hadn't gone at one, I reckon they were rubbing their hands because this kid could be the best of the lot. Why didn't he get a game last year? Uh, I think he had some injury concerns. 
Yeah, mate. He, he Benji Marshall steps someone on the weekend. Yeah, he's a freak. He's a proper freak. So we're going to. What about they just lose? Year. They lose one young superstar and have another this one, one pops up. Yeah, it's it's huge. And they've got that other. Well, they lost two. They lost Raul and Powell. So that other that kid Powell is another, you know, first yearer like Powell. playing his first games. Powell. And he. I like it. It's R O W E L L and P O W E L L. One goes out, the other goes out. I love that. Ride love together. It. We die together. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of dying together, here's Richmond again. Are just they on going... that Suns Sydney game? That's like a twenty six dollar multi as well. If you want to just throw them together, but yeah, thirteen dollar first goal score. Yeah, Richmond North Melbourne. Richmond North Melbourne. Mate, you have you you have been a um, how can I say it? Richmond have gone into a lot of multis of yours this season. Yeah, and I've actually had a bit of money on North Melbourne as well, and. It's taken me six odd rounds to realise that they're shit. <laughs> I finished bottom four. Everyone's excited. Their, their, their game plan revolves around hard ball gets out of the middle and then pump it forward. Now, that's all well and good when you're playing other bottom four sides, but you're going to rely on hard ball gets against Dustin Martin, Trent Cotchin, um Excuse me, you <laughs> nearly vomited in my mouth there. <laughs> Mate, I, I look, Richmond are missing a few stars, but um, yeah, North have been woeful. I think Richmond... The North Melbourne have a gun, Ruckman. Yeah, Todd Goldstein. Yeah. I, I don't know if he's a gun, but you know him because I'm a big fan of him. Um, okay. But I think Richmond coming up to Queensland, they're playing at Metricon. If I, is that right? Is it Metricon this yeah. game? Yeah. You like so, them travelling, don't you? I do like them traveling because I think they get the run of the mill. They get all the MCG games. They, they never get out of it. This will kind of get them out of the bubble, let them galvanize, let the boys have a bit of fun. Yeah, mate, it's good. The, there's a few good games, a few good odds in the, uh, in the AFL this weekend, isn't there? Yeah. And even going into Sunday. I actually, I actually I like Richmond half-time, full-time. Get that extra 25 30%. You'll get $1.88 for that. Perfect. Perfect. All right, mate, Carlton, Port Adelaide, Adelaide, first game on Sunday, 1 o'clock. Uh, Carlton were valiant last week, but this week they're up against the comp leaders. I've got a same-game multi. Port Adelaide to win into two anytime scorers, Eddie Betts and Zach Butters. That's a $3.50. Can I throw my beak in here? Go Carlton will it. never get it as easy as they got it against Western Bulldogs last week. That was a very odd game. Um, I, I Strange. They've been, and I said this last week, they've been in, uh, they've been in the fight up until the death with every game. They got that win. They were going into this game full of confidence, but I reckon Port Adelaide have been playing sensational football. So, yeah, um, I think they need... Uh, let me just have a look quickly. Who did Port Adelaide pay last week? Don't know. Okay, I think <laughs> you could just look it up. <laughs> I'm scared to get off this screen. The listeners will be going, oh, of course they play bloody. Mate, I get off the screen and then I see something I I like as well to look at. You gotta, you gotta end turn up down, pop-ups off. But no, I <laughs> I end up down a rabbit hole. Um, Port Adelaide beat the Giants by 17 points last week. Uh, I think that was a very, very big litmus test for them. They passed. Uh, they had the game the week before against where are we? Against the Lions, they got a proper touch up. So, going back to what I said about the Lions, the Lions dropping a game, losing that favoritism. Port Adelaide still favourite. Port Adelaide are the second best team in the comp. Given going back to Brisbane being miles ahead of the, the other teams, but I think if you're talking about the young guns that are at the Suns. You may as well be talking about Zach Butter, um, Rosie. Um, the, the Port Adelaide have a very, very similar list, but a little bit more mature. I think those blokes were 17 or 18 draft. I'm going to say 17. Um, yeah, Port Adelaide. What am I, am I really going into a Port Adelaide Carlton game? Like, just bet on Port Adelaide. Jeez, mate, you know a lot about Port Adelaide. Because I love Koshy. <laughs> I'm always trying to get you over to bloody off sunrise. No, I'm a wait, which one is the cash cow? Oh, one? I don't know. I'm that one. Go Koshy. Go Koshy. All right, give me the next game. Hawks, demons. Uh, it, this is a weird one as well. You don't know what 
Hawks team or what Demon team is going to turn up. Uh, I would say that you've just got to bet on Clarkson not dropping two in a row um, at $1.72. In fact, go the line, minus five and a half um, at $1.90. A bit danger in these low-scoring affairs, the... uh... The margins, the yeah, they're just such like that. That's a goal. That margin, yeah, fair call, fair call. Do you know what I mean? Oh. The low scoring have been really constricted defensive games where, yeah, they have been low scoring. There might be eighty points total or seventy five to eighty five points total, but your winners usually around the forty to fifty point mark, and your losers around twenty to thirty points. So you still got that ten point buffer in there or two goal buffer. You take one goal, get an extra, you know. 15% on top of your price. You just bloody go That's for it, unbelievable so. that teams can only score 30 to 40 points. I know, game. hey. <laughs> All right, mate. Dockers West Coast. What have we got? Sunday, the last game on Sunday. Uh, mate, the, the showdown without the sizzle, I've written this as the snore down. <laughs> <laughs> um, How do you come up with this shit? Oh, mate, I drink heaps. Uh, <laughs> this will be a very tough game to watch. Uh, but really? the Eagles forwards, ball movement, should see them get the win uh, fairly easily. The line is minus 15 and a half. I really, before I freaking bloody came on here, I wanted to have a look at the weather. Check that weather. <laughs> if it's going to be a good day in, in Perth, take them with the line. They're paying $1.40 the win, but take them with the line. Um, They're better on a good track. Yeah, if, if it's a heavy eight, then just go Eagles win at a dollar forty odd, whatever I just said, dollar forty one. And what about Monday? What are you up to Monday? I won't be watching this shit game. <laughs> Crows versus St Kilda. What? Why are you doing this? Adelaide Oval on a Monday night. I know, I know. Um, mate, it, I suppose it, it. It's. I don't know if Adelaide are going to win a game going forward. Um, really? Yeah, I, I really don't. They've been. They've been terrible. And so much has come out about this this frigging camp they did after losing the 2018 grand final and all this, you know, insane stuff. Um, mix that in with the fact that I, I, I do claim Saints are a good team this year. They were embarrassed last week. Absolutely embarrassed. If you remember, a part of our punters club, uh, we took the bet with Saints and one of the blokes early called it at quarter time when they were up by six goals. They got chased down in the last half by Fremantle to lose. Um, How much do you love a mate giving the early crow? Oh, Jared me off. I don't know. He knows his, he knows his footy. Like, he just, Jared. He was, you know what like, he did? I won't name had, any names, he had, Jared. <laughs> he had the kids hanging off him. He's picked it up and going, oh, yeah, we're good. Up you go, the Saints. Yeah, get into them, son. Um, What's the Saints animal? Or are they just the Saints? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's it's a Saint. It is actually a Saint. But then what about St. George? Yeah, they're a dragon. But St. George is an area. St. Kilda is also an area. Is what? Is Kilda the area? And they've called them. <laughs> What's their animal? Yeah, no, it's, it is a Saint. It's like a stick figure Saint on the old jerseys. Um, mate, I Lazy. would... I would I would take a, a decent margin on this, maybe twenty points. So I, I've got written down um, minus nineteen and a half at two dollars, and that that is actually the last leg of my multi. So I'll roll straight into my multi, hundred dollars. So can you can you do some calculations here for me? Hit me, bro. I'm going to go Hang Richmond. On. I'm going to go. <laughs> Hit me right now, except now. Richmond halftime, full time at a dollar eighty eight. If your bookie doesn't let you do that, then find a new bookie or just take him at the win at a dollar whatever it was. Yeah, so take him at a dollar eighty eight, halftime, full time. Um, St Kilda minus nineteen and a half at two dollars. And I'm just going to go the win with Port. I know Carlton have been in these fights, but I'm going to take the win with Port at a dollar forty five. So it's a dollar eighty eight into two dollars into a dollar forty five. What do you got? Five four five. Multi. Five four five dollars so forty five. We'll hundy on, hundy on, full hundy on. Um, but I will be. I'll put this post up, and I'll be betting on each and every one of these games individually. You are a bet pig. Oink. All right, mate. Well, that'll just about do it for the uh, 
for the footy. We've had our racing bets out there. Good episode. Yeah, mate. Can we just can we hit our punters up about getting in touch with you to register their interest for the yep. uh, the Magic Millions trip? Yep. Keep keep hitting me up. We've had about two dozen blokes get in contact with us with groups of blokes um, that are keen to come up to Millions. We have just started having conversations. Obviously, they're very tentative conversations around what we think we can do at Magic Millions 2021 here on the Gold Coast in January. If you are keen, so this is the call out right now. Go and talk to your mates and go, hey, 2020 was a shithole. Let's get to 20, let's get to Magic Millions in 2021 in January. Kick the year off with a bang. Start seeing if they'd be keen and let us know and we'll put together a package. So like I said, we're talking to Magic Millions, we're talking to beer company, we're talking to betting agencies, we're talking to hotels about what we can come up with but right now is the time to register your interest talk yeah, to name, your mates names so on a page it. is what we need names on yep. a page you don't exactly. you don't have to be 100 percent. we just want the names on a page yep just go look me and, and a lot of you blokes have so i appreciate that a lot of blokes have said you know we, we missed out on going to cox plate this year so we'd be keen to do millions there's four of us blah blah we'd love that but yeah that that's where we're at with the millions thing i had to do an update because i forgot to last week um other thing is premiums going good. They've had good results. The numbers came in for June. Um, what seemed to be a lean June was quite good numbers. Um, we can go through those if you want. But I oh, bloody missed Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I know. I know. Oh, kill me. They had an absolute fill up in the premium on Saturday. Yeah, I had one bet, and they. Uh, well, I had. We had our bets, and. I, because, you know, the family function that I go down to Mudgee for was on the Saturday. So I hardly got to watch any races. I didn't have a bet. Usually I bet the card in Sydney with the premium things and far out. He had a good bloody day. Didn't they know it was Sir John Monash Stakes Day? Sir John. They didn't. Love you, Sir John. Love you, Patrick. Thank you for tonight. Thank you, listeners. Thanks for all the support. You guys are absolutely bloody legends. Make sure you leave a review. If you listen to this podcast, if not, give us a like, uh, tag your mates, have a laugh, have a bet and enjoy the weekend.